Hello, I am Dr. Thomas and I am an appearance expert and dental expert from Cochin, Kerala. Today I will be talking about the most common dental disease in man or most common disease in man called as dental caries. Why is it so important? A caries tooth what is a caries? First of all, can we, can we just define what is a caries? It is simple, it is dental decay. When bacteria goes into the tooth and gets stuck on the tooth and then it starts necrotizing whatever food material which is there on the tooth, little by little it will start forming acids. These acids will slowly dissolve your calcium. This calcium will all go and whenever you chew or when something hard goes in, you will slowly remove the other organic substrates also. Once the calcium is gone, all the organic components or the, the things which held all this calcium together also goes, then you will have a small cavity or a small dip or a cavity will be formed. Once this cavity is formed, you will have enough food to be lodged inside. So the bacteria doesn't have to wait for the food there. You will be keeping food inside because you will be eating food and if you are not careful enough to brush or even if you are careful enough to brush, once the cavity is formed, food will go inside. So the bacteria can multiply and it can also ferment and make, it make more and more acids. Once this happens, it can go inside the tooth and make larger and larger cavities. Whenever you eat cold things or hot things, you slowly get a tingling sensation or a sensitivity. You cannot eat cold, you will feel, especially when you eat sweet, you might get something called as a, a very bad feeling from your tooth. Once this happens, you have to go to a dentist and get it treated. What will happen? After some time, you will get used to it. Anything, you, any sensation, after some time, you will get used to it. Once you get used to it, the cavity will grow even further once it goes to the from the enamel level enamel is the outer coating of the tooth down to the dentin you will have the sensitivity once it goes down beyond the dentin then you have the pulp or the neural tissues or the blood tissues once it goes into that then you have pain you should not wait until it goes to giving you a pain slow small sensitivity or a black spot knotted on your tooth please go to the dentist because a dentist can just go you don't have to really drill into the tooth much because nowadays the drilling is avoided to a great extent because we all believe in conserving the tooth structure so we all believe in putting the tooth back to its original shape and function. So we need to conserve as much as enamel, as much as dentin as possible. So we don't do any more of silver amalgam fillings as you may think later. old fillings are all silver amalgam fillings or silicate fillings. But now what we have is all nano composites. So we don't have to make a big cavity inside so that this will be held together by the cavity itself because we didn't have any micro mechanical retention we had only mechanical retention so we need to drill the tooth to a larger extent make it more visible and then fill it now we don't have to do it and moreover we used to remove all the caries which is possible the affected and the infected dentin used to be removed otherwise what will happen after some time it might it used to be going deeper and deeper so and moreover we need to have good retentive cavities so that this amalgam stays there. Amalgam is an excellent filling material but what you were using was mercury, what you were using was silver. Mercury you know it is a very toxic material we don't even allow to enter India. We recently saw a ship which carrying mercury down here. We never allowed it to enter into our borders. Why? And you are very happy enough 
to put the mercury inside your mouth you don't allow a ship to come to your country carrying mercury then why are you allowing it inside your mouth so it is toxic so please don't use it inside your mouth but previously we never had another option so we used to use mercury in your mouth but then silver silver is also not a body element only we have only traces of silver in silver in your body so why you are putting silver in your, on your tooth and moreover it is not aesthetic it doesn't look as tooth itself it looks as steel on your tooth why why you put a uh, corroding silver in your mouth so we don't use silver amalgams at all now then why we do we use a nano composites why you use an because as you know, as the name suggests it's called as nano where it is a very small particle so it can go deep into the uh, small pores and fill it to a maximum so it goes deep into the pores and it gives you a micro mechanical retention so we don't have to make a big cavity to fill the tooth what do we do recently we either take out all the caries part or the bacteria has to be cleaned out and then what you have to do is you have to sterilize the cavity then you have to put the nano composites in and shine the light and bang the whole tooth looks as though it is the same tooth again nobody sees the cavity nobody sees the uh, infected dentin or or a large cavity on the tooth nobody sees it has been filled and you will be very happy to chew because you don't have post operative sensitivity during the treatment you don't drill much so you, what you get is a very pain free dentistry so please go as soon as you get a small sensitivity on the tooth how long will it last unless and until you get another caries on the tooth it should last because it has been filled to a very small very thin particle size so even bacteria cannot go in so if you go and get another caries no no dentist has to be blamed but the the good thing is that you don't have to drill much you don't have you don't will not have pain you will not have to do any any uh, aggressive removal of tooth portions so you and you will get a very aesthetic tooth so please go as soon as you see a black line on your tooth or if you have sweet Yeah uh, if you have sweet and you get sensitivity please go to the dentist get it done and okay sometimes we are so busy that we cannot go or sometimes we are so uh, not careful enough you already had something called as pain on tooth then please go to the dentist then because as the time goes by what will happen the cavity becomes larger and larger so the difficulty in filling the tooth because the tooth structure becomes weaker and weaker so what will happen as the tooth, tooth structure becomes weaker we need to add stronger and stronger materials so stronger and stronger material means cost so please go to the dentist and get it filled as early as possible second thing as soon as there is pain you go to the dentist what what will the dentist dental will take an x ray talking about x rays we don't use any more film x rays why we don't use film x rays one is ecological problem as i told because film x rays we need to use uh, uh, a solution where we need to wash it just like the old time uh, uh, film cameras and you use to take film photography now we don't use we use a digital photography same way we don't use a film based x rays at all when why you don't use film based x rays is because you have a lot of uh effluence because we will be using the solution and we have to discard it so th- that goes into the nature once again so it is a polluted second thing is you also use use it because you need very minimal radiation very minimal radiation means uh, uh you consider uh, a chest x ray which we used to take big x rays we used to take for the chest and to a dental x ray it is 1 in 300 that is one chest x ray is equal to 300 dental x rays but what happens when it became digital x rays is 1 in 3000 because it takes only 1 by 10th of a dental x ray to take a digital x ray and nowadays dc has come dc x rays has come which makes it very low because the voltage which is used for this uh this thing itself is this direct current or a battery current 
so you don't have to use a, a huge uh, x-ray radiation to hit and get a good image so we use a digital image and then you can blow it up as you know uh, before we used to use a small film photography and then we used to make it larger and larger using your uh, printing size but now what we use is a digital one wherein you can blow it if you have megapixel cameras so just like that you have you can make it into a larger this thing using your computers and you get it get it to be stored in the dental clinic itself or you can be emailed directly to you so we take a digital x-ray and we blow it up and see where exactly is the problem whether it is infected whether it has gone down to the bone and given you infection down to the bone and then we have to do a root canal treatment what is a root canal treatment we remove all the infection from inside the tooth or the pulp cavity and then fill the whole pulp cavity till the tip of the root then fill it and then put a crown on top gives you a very good tooth which can be chewable and you will not have pain henceforth this is all about dental caries so please don't make caries the second if you have caries go to the dentist third if you have pain get a root canal done none of these treatment is painful thanks to local anesthesia thanks to the better equipments we are using thanks to the amount of tooth structure which is removed is very low you will not have much discomfort during after the treatment so get it done as early as possible thank you